Um, okay. Hey guys, um, this is Mangaswa, and, um, today this is just a tutorial on how to make animations pretty simply, and, um, it's the most simple, easiest way, and quite, it's like, it's free as well, which is brilliant. Um, so if you're starting out in animation, this is, um, the way to go, really. Um, so what we're going to be using is paint, um, and movie maker. It doesn't really matter which movie maker. But for paint, it has to be paint XP or um, paint 97, which I've got as well. I've got quite a few. But you don't want the um, new Windows 7 paint um, because of a fill, it like leaves a weird edge. And yeah, it's weird. But first of all, what you really want to do is um, you want to change the attributes to the actual size. So I don't know what I've got at the moment. It's, I don't know. It's, it's random. But. Um, most animations they go at um, 1024 for the width, and then the height is usually um, 576. But for this, we're going to use a simpler version, which is um, slightly smaller and probably work better and will be faster and stuff. So we go 800 by 450. Um, this gives you quite a good space, and the brush size is thick enough as well, which is good. So, pretty much what you want to start off is, I'm just going to do a really simple one to be quick. Um, yeah, circle. That's pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have it like moving around or something. Um, then you want to save it. It will be best. Um, I think the, I think um, Movie Maker picks up bitmaps. Here, bitmap. So, you want to... Oops, lagging a lot. Okay, so you want to save it as a bitmap because... Um, you can re-edit it afterwards. If you save it as a um, JPEG, it compresses it, and you can't fill um, spaces very well or something like that. So, yeah, you you seriously want to put it as a bitmap. You won't be able to share the images anywhere else because bitmap only works on Windows and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make a new um, folder called Test for now. And I'm gonna save it as untitled because my um, my computer is laggy and stuff. So I have to, I have to do that anyway. Um, but you can save it as whatever you want, like frame one, frame zero, whatever. Yeah. And then what you want to do is you want to open this. You want to. Um, sorry, my laptop is quite slow, so you have to bear with me. Um, you want to open it um, wherever you saved it. So I saved it in pictures. And I saved it in the test folder, which um, I opened. Bear in mind, you'll probably have quite a few images, okay? Um, so you want to open the first image. Here we go, see? You see it now? Um, now, it says 7 seconds here, so what, you want to double click on it. And you want to change the duration to 1 second. Actually, 1 second is too slow. Um, most animations work at 25 frames per second. So, yeah, you want to you wanna do um, something different than that. I would work at, um, thinking about it, what would 1 divided by 20 be? I'm actually, actually I'm not that terrible at maths, but let me work this out. 1, um, divided by 20. Okay, so you want to you wanna work at that, hopefully. Um, that'll be 20 frames per second, which should be quite good. So that's literally working at hardly anything. That literally just goes by really quickly. And if you're if you're working with the um, older version of Movie Maker, if you're on um, XP, I think, um, go onto the timeline and drag it down to the smallest it can be. Um, hopefully, you know how that works, and um, it should be a fifteenth of a second, so it's slightly slower, but it's the same kind of concept. And then what you want to do for your next frame, you want to fill, get the fill tool, and get grey. And then um, fill this in. This is w which you won't be able to do if you save it as a JPEG. So keep it as a bitmap when you're saving. And then what you want to do over the top, you want to draw your next image. So just be like, I don't know, something something simple, um, something like that. And then um, you select white, and you you get rid of the um, you fill in the grey. So you've got your next frame. And this is a really good way of um, animating, I think, anyway. So then you want to go, um, I just put it as 1, because otherwise it lags out, seriously. It it will lag out for me. Um, and then you open the next frame, 
and etc etc. I don't know how long I've been um don't know how long I've been recording for, but I'll do the next frame just for clarity. And you'll get the idea. It it will go by really quickly and I think this way of animating will take longer than the way I use, which is flash. But it's it costs money and quite a lot. Um so this this will take longer but you gotta be motivated, you gotta stay with it. This is how I used to work, so so you're gonna you're gonna have to stay with it. Animation is um I find is probably my favourite hobby and yeah. It takes a long time but what you put in is what you get out, so you know. Oh I forgot to shorten these down. Remember to um keep the frame rate uh, um besides the frame same every single time. I'll probably I'll have a uh, 0 0.1 instead just so you can see um, how this is gonna work. You'll probably be able to see it better. It only lasts for um, a third around a third of a second I think. But so can you see that? It kind of moves. But um, just to keep the length of the video down, that's literally what I'm gonna be doing this uh, um, this tutorial. So if this helped you, um, please subscribe, it really helps. Um, I make animations myself, if you haven't seen them, um, go check them out. And um, if you've got any questions, I would happily answer them in, um, in the comments below. And um, yeah, if you want some other tutorials um, similar to this, or completely different, but obviously related to animation, then I'll be happy to do that as well, as long as it helps you guys. So, yeah, um, see you guys. And, yeah, a like would be really helpful if this helped you out. So, yeah, see you guys.